And good Thursday evening. Time to take a look here at your weather webcast video on this Thursday evening. And of course, the uh, the popular word or the famous word is kind of going around the town tonight. So uh, we're going to talk more about that. But first, it was actually a pretty cloudy, gloomy day out there today. We had the clouds that stuck around and we had a very strong northerly wind uh, at the uh, surface there. And what that did was that created some cooler conditions and what we had what we call cold air advection basically continued to move on in, in, into the area. So we didn't have temperatures rise too much. And so we stayed into the mid 40s for high temperatures this afternoon and after a morning low of only 40 degrees. So a very chilly wintry like day. It looks like those days are going to stick around for the next several. All right, now let's get right to it. And first off, we'll set you up first on what's going on across the country and then we'll try to break down what we're looking at for possibly this weekend coming up, especially around Saturday. Now, a lot of still question marks are still in the forecast here, but it seems that it could be pretty possible that we have our first little wintry event. Now, we're not going to be looking at a big bread and milk storm or anything like that around here, but the chance of seeing some snowflakes and maybe accumulating on some of the grassy surfaces and things could possibly happen by Saturday morning. So we'll continue to watch that. But here's first off, our storm system from yesterday pushing off towards the east brought all the heavy rain, uh, severe weather. We had a line of storms. Remember yesterday we had temperatures in the 40s during the morning, had a lot of heavy rain, and then we got about an hour and a half of sunshine during the late afternoon hours, and that bumped temperatures up into the lower 60s. And then we had thunderstorms move through the area. In fact, one storm actually produced a, a tornado warning just to our west, and then that moved on through the area again. So. Uh, a very active day weather-wise yesterday, but here's what we're watching. This is the new storm system. It's just now dropping down out of Colorado into the Texas Panhandle, and you can see uh, this band of snow that's beginning to already develop uh, ahead of this system here, and this is what we're watching. So we have cold air coming on into the area. It's moving ahead of the storm system. This is Saturday's storm system that we're watching in New Mexico right now. Expected to dive on into Texas to our tomorrow and then pick up some Gulf moisture, and as it tracks along towards the east and then to the northeast, Expect to throw back just enough moisture and we'll be on the northwestern side of that to where we could actually see some snow falling uh, coming up Saturday morning or at least some light snow out there. So here's the setup around here. Low pressure in the Gulf of Mexico riding up through uh, the uh, peninsula of Florida and down into the Atlantic Ocean. As this happened, we're expecting a band of moisture to develop here. Now the areas here in yellow is the farthest reaching westward extent of this moisture here. The areas here in white, which does include us here in northwest Georgia, uh, is kind of the area where the prime cold air meets with the, the best moisture chance there. So as that happens, this is the main area where we could see uh, some light accumulations. Again, the key word is going to be some very light accumulations. We're not talking about a major storm or anything again, but some light accumulations is possible. So let's break this down. Here are your main ingredients here. We're going to be watching this system here. It's forming, dropping into New Mexico right now. Expect to move into Texas coming up for us uh, tomorrow and then into the Gulf of Mexico Saturday. And as it does so, this system could spread some moisture back into our area. Now the question mark will be how much of this moisture makes it towards the north into that cold air, which would be over us. So we'll just have to still wait and see. I don't think we'll have a, a good handle on this until tomorrow evening, actually, about this time, where we may be able to look at the radar picture and be able to say, hey, this is uh, that's this much moisture with the storm. It doesn't have a lot of moisture, so our chances look a little slim. So we'll just have to wait and see. But again, right now, looks like there could be enough moisture coming in that we could see some light accumulations. Now, here's your weather maps and here's your computer models. Now, again, tonight, we'll dry nothing around us at all. Looks like a pretty nice day overall. Now, notice our storm system now dropping down into uh, Texas and uh, into northern Mexico coming up for tonight. Now, for your Friday morning, again, still dry, nothing anywhere near us. Notice the moisture starting to gather up here in the Gulf of Mexico and our snow starting to break out again in the Texas. By Friday afternoon, some warmer air may move into Texas, so we get some, some rain and snow mix here. And believe it or not, some of this could be snow here as we head from uh, central Louisiana back down towards the Texas Gulf Coast around the Houston area as well. They could be looking at uh, a pretty hefty snowfall also down there. Here's our storm system starting to develop. So the cold air has continued to filter in, but we're still dry. So that I think Friday night, I know Calhoun has the big game down there. Should be dry in Calhoun Friday night for the big game. But as we head towards Saturday, here comes that low pressure moving by to our south and west. That cold air nosing in that, from that high pressure to our north. Notice that northern fringe, our computer model showing this northern fringe turning into some snow and some light to moderate snow maybe moving into to the area. Now, this is one computer model. I have another computer model that's showing this actually if you move it about 50 or so miles to the south, which would obviously decrease the moisture amounts here. And we'd be looking at maybe some flurries 
and maybe a light snow shower. So again, still not completely certain on exactly the, the, the f official forecast for accumulations and all that. But again, either way, this should be a light event. It's not going to be a major event, but it will determine whether we see light accumulations or just some flurries in the area. But I do think we'll see some flakes coming up on Saturday. I think that will be pretty likely. Here is the uh, computer model again that we just showed you. It's, this is its accumulation forecast here across the area. Now, of course, this is your Tennessee Georgia border here, the Georgia Alabama border here. And you can see here we are in Dalton and Whitfield County. And you can see all of us here in the northwest Georgia area in this kind of pinkish red, purplish shade color here, whatever you want to call it. Looking at anywhere from a trace to an inch of snow, possibly up to an inch, but mainly probably about a trace to an inch. That's about the highest. And just to our north and east, as you head up to the higher elevations and into Tennessee, the, the amounts increase quite a bit. Again, another model would shift this all about 50 miles south, which of course would just put us into maybe seeing a dusting category. So still a lot to watch, and it's definitely not certain at all. One thing is for sure tonight, it's going to be cold as temperatures drop down to close to freezing, but should stay just above freezing. And then we'll watch Saturday. That will be the time period to watch, especially Saturday morning, I believe. And we'll have an update, of course, tomorrow evening on this and what we're expecting. And then after that, we dry out. And another dynamic system may move in, be moving into the area coming up Wednesday. And that one could be ending as a few snowflakes coming up by Thursday. And that's, of course, seven days away. So that will change. But again, it looks like the active El Nino weather pattern could be moving on into the area pretty soon. Of course, uh, we're going to have updates on this storm system coming up for the weekend as we go throughout your Friday. So just stay with us here and we'll keep you updated. But again, right now we could be looking at some light accumulations and maybe our first little wintry uh, event or threat of the season coming up for us. And it's kind of early in the December area. So this could be a treat for us if we actually have everything fall into place. We'll update you again tomorrow. That's a look at your weather webcast video for tonight. Have a great evening.